Hi, my name's Sam Mason Bell. I got into filmmaking when I was about 11 years old. I always liked telling stories and tried to write stories when I was younger. And I found that like film was probably the best platform to be able to tell those stories. The first ever feature film I made was a film called Flummox. I was 18 years old. I tried to make it when I was 15, and I tried to make like multiple different kind of feature films. And each time they just kind of got limitations of being 13, 14 years old, couldn't get the actors, didn't really know much of camera angles. But when we finally actually made our first film, Flummox, I still didn't know any camera angles, and I still didn't know anything, and uh, I upset a lot of people with my unprofessionalism. I made a hell of a lot of mistakes, but that's one of my favorite things with indie filmmaking. We learn from our mistakes. I have been a filmmaker, well, with Trash Arts, we've been running for about 13 years, starting in 2007. Uh, as me, as far as me trying to be a filmmaker, I've been trying to be a filmmaker since I was 11. So I guess I'm coming up to nearly 20 years of trying to make films. I've worked on uh, multiple different films within Trash Arts. Um, over the last few years, we've shot feature films with HB Films, such as Toxic Schlock, also with Vestra Pictures, Lonely Hearts, Millennial Killer. Uh, we've also just gone into um, post-production on some Trash Arts only features, such as Decline, The Truth Fall Out. We tend to make a lot of horror films. Uh, we try to keep production moving at quite a quick pace. So for instance, we will have multiple films happening at different times, perhaps with different crews or different uh, directors or creative teams. But the majority of the time is to try and get as much uh, work out there as possible. This also includes, um, we do comedy shows such as Right Here, Right Now, and the making of, I have crazy aspirations to one day have Trash Arts as a film studio. So I try to make sure we're doing as much as possible and to obviously keep the quality up and to not rush anything, make sure people are ready to do things. The advice I'd give to any filmmaker nowadays is just to go out and try and do it really. Like there are so many devices we can work with. There's obviously DSLRs, there are obviously mobile phones. The quality of a film in my personal experience from our earlier work, people were still more interested in the story and kind of forgave those simple little mistakes. Some basics I'd say is always try and get your sound second unit. Mics on cameras are not as strong and you don't have as much control. Having someone who has a bit of skills on the sound only helps. I, I find generally those who are enthusiastic with filmmaking will have a particular craft that they want to focus in on let them go for it. They might not have the education for it, but they have the enthusiasm for it. Now, personally, I'm always someone who, if you have more enthusiasm, that could be more valuable than just having a university education. Um, and I take that into consideration with what I said before about making mistakes. Making mistakes is part of filmmaking. You can only grow from making mistakes. And you will, you will get the better equipment as time goes along, but for now, just work with what you've got. Just make sure your sound is of a decent quality. And please, please don't ever try and edit on iMovies. If you want to check out more of Trash Arts work, go to Trash Arts Portsmouth, uh, our YouTube channel. Or go to any of our social medias, Trash Arts UK for Facebook, Instagram Trash Arts UK, and Twitter is Trash Arts Film. You can also purchase Lonely Hearts alongside Millennial Killer on Dark Side Releasing's website. You'll also find our work with Troma, Sector 5, SCS, Versus Media, Stream Now, and others.